From a massive rock slide breaking free right in front of our cameraman, and a surge of red mud ripping through a Brazilian man's home, to a seemingly endless landslide in central China, and a French avalanche that was way too close for comfort. Here are seven of the scariest landslides, rock slides, and avalanches ever caught on camera. Himachal Pradesh, also known as the province of snow-laden mountains, is a province in northern India. Its position in the western Himalayas gives credence to the nickname, but also leaves them susceptible to dangerous landslides and avalanches. According to Business Standard, the province has as many as 21 landslide-prone sites. What's worse is that most are located along national highways. In October of 2018, a group of electrical workers for the Himachal Pradesh Power Corporation learned how landslide-prone their work site was when the mountain basically broke in front of them. Something doesn't seem right on the mountainside, and one worker aims their camera at some tumbling rocks. The warning signs point to imminent disaster, and then it happens. The mountain cracks, and a massive rock slide tumbles down toward their work site. They sprint into a nearby shed, and you can hear the dust and debris passing through the gaps in the wall. Thankfully, everyone seems okay. They can only laugh at the incredibly close call. The power company released a statement saying that no workers suffered any injuries during the event. However, the property sustained some minor damage. Linfen is a prefecture-level city in Shanxi Province, China. Situated on the banks of the Fen River, they're known for their rich coal, iron, copper, and lead mines. Because of these mines, a 2006 World Bank report called Linfen, China the most polluted city in the world. Emily Chang, a CNN correspondent based in Beijing, wrote how cars seem to disappear into dense smog that clings to vanishing buildings. Not really a great thing to be known for, huh? On October 6th of 2021, the streets of Linfen were full of murky clouds, but it wasn't from coal mine pollution. Instead, a dust cloud bloomed off a massive landslide as it slid down a mountain, cascading into the river below. Blink and you'll miss it. The landslide tumbles down the mountains and crashes like a wave when it hits the ground. It looks like the debris is about to hit those cars, but another angle shows us the river between them. The sound, though, is almost scarier than the event itself. According to our sources, several cars were impacted, but there were no injuries reported. This landslide resulted from several days of heavy rain across Shanxi province, and it wasn't even the only landslide to hit on October 6th. They were forced to close 74 scenic spots and 27 coal mines as emergency flood warnings went into effect. While the scenic spots weren't a big deal, many were concerned about power outages and shortages across China due to the lack of coal. Bordering the Shanxi province is Shanxi, a landlocked province in central China home to over 39 million people. Were they their own country, they'd exist somewhere between Ukraine and Poland. 
Considered a cradle of Chinese civilization, 13 feudal dynasties over 1,100 years established their capitals in Shanxi province. And we wonder if all those ancient dynasties gathered to watch when natural disasters happened in their backyard. On November 8th of 2015, locals in Jenba County, a town in southwestern Shanxi, recorded a seemingly endless landslide that blocked an entire stretch of highway. Needless to say, a few people were late for work that day. It's like one of those memes that gets worse the longer you look at it. According to reports, this landslide had been happening for over six hours, with the most extreme movement occurring around 4 p.m. We think it's fair to say that this is the moment we're looking at. Debris and trees crash down the mountainside and cover the road. Large boulders follow shortly after. Eventually, the entire top portion begins sliding down, and the expanding landslide forces some people to retreat up the road. A few more trees slide down as the event comes to an end. According to Feng Kuijian, who works for the Hanzhong Highway Administration Bureau, more than 10,000 cubic meters of land were moved during the landslide. Feng worried that clearing it too soon could trigger another event. He estimated it would take them at least a week to remove all the debris. Anápolis is a municipality in the Brazilian state of Goiás. They are among the most developed cities in the state and have always been known for their rich agricultural areas. In mid-November of 2021, torrential rain caused a five-and-a-half-foot pile of dirt, mud, and sludge to gather behind one man's home. The homeowner, Romulo Ducamu, could tell his wall wouldn't hold for long and abandoned his home in the nick of time. Moments later, a surge of red-tinted water crashes through the wall and chases Romulo down the street. The water gushes for several more seconds before finally starting to subside. Footage taken a bit later shows the damage as his possessions float in the murky water. Thankfully, everyone inside is okay, including his wife and their adorable dogs. According to the New York Post, the five-and-a-half-foot sludge mass pressed against his wall for a full day before it finally broke. Romulo noticed some cracks in the wall, which caused water to pool in the vacant lot next door. He said the flood cost him 24,000 Brazilian real, or about $4,200 in damages. Tignes is a commune in the French Alps and a popular destination for skiers and snowboarders worldwide. In fact, Tignes has the longest winter sports season in Europe, with the resorts open for nine months out of the year. It's where many pros go to train during the summer. But being skiable for nine months also makes you avalanche prone for nine months. In April of 2018, an avalanche blocked a section of road on the mountain. Workers arrived to clear the path, but noticed another ominous collection of snow elsewhere on the mountain. They all looked at each other and agreed, we've got to do something about that. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Il va être à fraise tête Snow flows like a river down the mountain, and our workers chat and laugh in French as they narrowly miss getting buried. Our cameraman walks closer for a better shot now that the snow has stopped advancing up the road. According to French news, nobody was hurt during either avalanche. Our workers arrived to clear the initial avalanche, but noticed an amalgamation of snow threatening another area up the mountain. They moved diggers and other equipment to the new work site and triggered the second avalanche. They just didn't know it would be so big. It took them until midnight to clear the second avalanche. Hopefully, they got to settle in with some warm cocoa afterward. Mandi is a major city located in Himachal Pradesh, built on the banks of the Bias River in the western Himalayas. At an average elevation of 3,425 feet, the district of Mandi's climate varies between subhumid and tropical in the southern areas to alpine and glacial in the north and eastern mountain ranges. On April 10th of 2019, Mandi locals gathered along a rural road and recorded an awe-inspiring sight. After what we assume was pretty heavy rain in the south, a massive landslide basically deleted an entire hill. Trees come crashing down the hill as onlookers whistle with excitement. The domino effect causes other portions to crumble. Soon, all that's left is a thin patch of green down the middle. But it won't last very long. The center portion collapses in a cloud of dust, leaving nothing but brown dirt and rock behind. According to the Times of India, the country has faced 3,782 major landslides between 2015 and 2022. More than 12% of the country is landslide-prone, and disasters claim, on average, 300 lives per year. Globally, landslides are the third most deadly natural disasters, costing governments $400 billion yearly on landslide disaster management. India and Pakistan have been fighting over the Kashmir and Jammu regions since the partition of India in 1947. Known as the Kashmir Conflict, they have fought three wars and several armed skirmishes over control of the area, with China playing a third-party role. Though, according to the BBC, China favors the Indian side in the post-Cold War era. As of today, India controls 55% of the land area, Pakistan controls 30%, and China claims the other 15. On March 2nd of 2019, a massive landslide occurred in the Indian-controlled region of Jammu, in the Riasi district near the Tanpal Dam. Onlookers watched as giant rocks fell into the water, triggering mini tsunamis.
The men on our side of the dam appear to be yelling and whistling to someone across the way. We see a mini tsunami coming toward them, but it's honestly the least of their worries right now. Dave Petley, an expert on landslides, blamed the event on a period of heavy rainfall in the area. But that wasn't the only reason. He suspected the rock slope failure may have been caused by inadequate highway engineering. They cut part of the slope to build a road, which left it highly unstable. Nobody got hurt during the landslide, but the road beneath the mountain was closed until further notice. Maybe instead of fighting over the land, Pakistan, India, and China can refocus their energy on building better plans. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.